when you're starting a brand new song, you need to decide as early as possible. You need to decide how fast is your song. And the best way to stick to a certain tempo and not just be vibing with whatever you feel like that day is to use a metronome or a click track. So in PreSonus Studio One, when you've created a new session, the first thing I recommend you do is at the bottom of the screen, it says metronome. If you click this icon that looks like a metronome, it'll turn blue. You can also hit C on your keyboard. It is a shortcut to turn off and turn on your click track, okay? Uh, if you open up the mix tab at the bottom right, make sure y'all can see all this stuff I'm doing. Above this main fader, you should be able to see this. It says click volume and it's at zero dB, all right? It's just next to the metronome icon right here above the main fader. If I click and hold, I can adjust this mini fader so that I can turn up and turn down the click track volume. What does click sound like? Well, with the click track on, I can just hit the space bar and let's take a listen. Okay. If you thought that sounded terrible and you're brand new to click track, welcome to click track world. Um, it definitely is annoying. I remember uh, just starting off with click track. We use click track at church. So when I would play drums, that was my first instance of, wow, what is this click track thing? Uh, it can be very annoying at first, but then you start to love it. The more you use it, the more it kind of becomes a crutch. Uh, but the best thing is if you can learn how to record and learn how to play to a click track, you've at least got that in your tool belt. Your tempo will substantially improve uh, your ability to keep a consistent timing your ability to, you know, uh, yeah, be consistent with your tempo is going to get better. And you can always not use click track if you want to, but better to go ahead and learn that skill, especially if you're looking to record. Now, if you don't like the sound of the click track, like I said, we've got this mini fader here. So I'm going to let the click track play. I'm going to hit the space bar and I'm going to turn down the click track. So it's at a more comfortable volume. Okay. I can hear it in my ears, obviously, because it's coming through my headphones. Uh, make sure you got your headphones plugged in for that. But you don't want to hear the click track so loud that your microphone that you're recording with is going to be able to hear the click. So make the click as quiet as possible within reason for you to be able to play the drums, especially if you're playing drums, you're going to have to have a pretty loud click track or good isolated pair of headphones. If you don't like the sound of that click, click the little wrench that's above metronome. And here we can change how loud the accent is. We can change it to a cowbell if we want. The accent is gonna be the downbeat of each measure. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three. These little faders move from left to right. You can change how loud they are. The beat is just gonna be like the quarter note, for instance, and then the offbeat are like the eighth notes, the subdivision, okay? So I'm gonna play around with this as it plays and you'll just hear it changing sounds. You'll get the idea, so. That would be terrible. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to show you what is possible. If you go with logical, I believe this is, I mean, it would make me, makes me think that it's from logic. Maybe this is the built-in metronome sound. Can't remember, but yeah, I don't want the beat to be louder. Make sure your accent is louder than your beat and that your off beat is quieter than your beat. That might be the best way to go. I'm gonna change number one to, let's go with tools one. One, two, three. Okay. So that is our click track. We're gonna now change the tempo. So at the bottom of the screen right now, it is set to 105. If I wanna change the number, I can just click this number here. I can type in 77 and hit enter. Now our tempo is 77. So if it's spacebar. Okay, so uh, 77 is pretty slow, but uh, if you've got your song in mind, you can also use this as a tap tempo. So right here where it says tempo, if I just start clicking the quarter note of the song, uh, yeah, How Great Thou Art is in 4-4, so I didn't mention this earlier, but your timing, you can change this to 3-4 if you want to, you can change it to 3 
three, eight, you can change it to six, eight and so forth. We're going to make it four, four, 90% of the time I'm using four, four. And on the keyboard, if you want to go back to the beginning of the song, look for the arrow. That's kind of like this, it should be next to the question mark. That'll scoot you back to the beginning of the song, but how great there are. I'm just going to tap on the table here. Okay. 75 sounds like a winner. I can go back and listen to it. So this is 75 beats per minute. It's in four, four. Let's take a listen. Too slow. Let's make it 80. It is the end of How Great Thou Art, which we're going to do a little bit of a retardando. To thou art. Yeah, if you want to break from the click track, you can have somebody hit the C key for you, or you can render this click track out. So if you open up the wrench tool and you hit render, let's do a little region there from start to end, that would be fine. You could create this audio track. So now we've got this metronome here and we don't have to use the click track that's built in. Now we have an audio track called click. It's a little bit more advanced than I'm wanting to go today, but that's out there and available.